Hello. This is just a review to go back through the slideshow to kind of remind you what pronouns and antecedents are. Um, so first of all, what is a pronoun? Pronoun is like instead of saying cat, you could say, so like the cat jumped on the counter. I could say she jumped on the counter or Ripley chased Shadow yesterday. I could say she chased him yesterday. So changing Ripley to she, Shadow to him, those are the pronouns to the actual noun. So a pronoun replaces or refers to a noun. And this noun is called the antecedent. So in this example, the cat sleeps in her bed. The antecedent is cat, because that's originally what they're talking about. And her, well, I wouldn't have to say the cat sleeps in the cat's bed. I could just refer back to the cat as her. Your pronoun and your antecedent have to work together, and they have to agree. We all know that me, Mrs. Steinwan, I'm a girl. So you wouldn't say Mrs. Steinwan drove his vehicle to school today because I am not a boy. <clears throat> so that's why you'd say Mrs. Steinwan drove her car to school today. So if your antecedent, your noun, is singular, then the pronoun must also be singular. So the baby, baby is singular, holds his bottle. His is singular. <clears throat> If your antecedent is plural, then your pronoun must also be plural. So the children, so more than one child, zip their coats. If your antecedent is a girl, then your pronoun must also be feminine. Feminine means girls. So Susie brushed her hair. And, of course, if your antecedent is a boy, then your pronoun must also be masculine. Masculine means boy. George is a boy. Combed his hair. So now we're going to try. Jennifer wrote blank name on the paper. Jennifer wrote her name, it name, she name. Which one would make sense? Her. Jennifer wrote her name on the paper. Mom and dad are getting ready for a blank trip. So mom and dad are getting ready for his trip, their trip, or they trip. Their trip. Mom and dad are getting ready for their trip because mom and dad is more than one person. So your pronoun has to agree. Ben and I read the book blank loved it. Ben and I read the book. Us loved it. We loved it. They loved it. We loved it. Ben and I read the book. We loved it. It's we because you are included right here because it says Ben and I read the book. We had spaghetti tonight because blank is my favorite meal. <clears throat> because us is my favorite meal. Because his is my favorite meal. Or because it is my favorite meal. It. We had spaghetti tonight because it is my favorite meal. So with pronouns and antecedents, does every pronoun have an antecedent? Yeah, it does. It might not be in the same sentence, but pronouns do have antecedents to them.